This training will show you the process of entering an ALP in Frontline. Start off by logging into Frontline at iep.dpsk12.org. On the homepage, go to the upper right hand corner and click on the search bar. Type the student ID or name in the box. You will see programs pop up to their name. Next to their name, click programs. On the next page, you will see a long green box that says pending advanced learning plan. You're going to click create in this box. A white box will then appear that either says add advanced learning plan to which you would click next. This happens when the student has not yet had a plan since the student has already had a plan before. You will see the prompt start with a copy of most recent ALP. You always need to start with a copy, so click the box so the blue check mark appears. Then click next. After either of those options, the screen will bring up the beginning of the current year's ALP. Under plan start status, schedule, the starting date will be today's date. The ending date will be within the last two weeks of school. Under identification, enter the identification date, which must be at least one day before the schedule start date entered above. As you can see, the, the student's date is already entered in there since he's already had a plan. Then you're going to select the areas of giftedness or strengths that you will be writing a goal for. Again, the student's strengths are already clicked since the old ALP is rolling over. Keep scrolling down and answer questions in the student profile. These will typically be no, but be sure you have checked with appropriate school staff and team members. Click yes only if you have comments such as student is twice exceptional, also on an IEP, student is on a 504 plan, student is great accelerated, etc. Under the ALP participants, click yes for did the student participate in the ALP development. Click the box under parent guardian names and these should automatically populate Click add under the first parent guardian name if there are additional parent guardians who participated and these should also automatically populate. Click into district participants to list your name as well as other classroom teachers responsible for goals. If Frontline will not let you type or add the classroom teacher or other educator staff who participated in the ALP, under non-district participants, you will add their names and titles. So since it didn't let me enter that teacher under district participants, I am going to enter her by hand under non-district participants and put the title teacher or classroom teacher because this will still show up in, in the printed ALP without that non-district participant title. Under goals, you're going to check achievement goal and effective goal. Then you're going to click begin achievement goals or um, effect, academic goals. For the first goal, you check the area of need or strength. The start date should be entered as the day you begin writing the ALP. Remember, one day or more after the identification date. Again, the projected achievement date should have populated from the beginning of the screen, but it is within the last two weeks of the school year. Here you are going to type in your SMART goal where it says measurable goal. You may not leave the goal the same and simply change the standards. You must make the goal new, different, and specific to this year based on the teacher, student, and parent involvement. If you have already have a document, which would be highly recommended with this goal drafted, the comment box is where you're going to copy and paste it.
you may type the standard directly below the goal. You can also click yes to add standards. And this will bring up the drop down menu. Content area is reading, writing, and communicating for this goal. Grade level. Make sure the standards that are pulling up are in fact accurate for that grade level. If they are not, you are going to want to hand write them into that comment box. Include instruction strategies planned throughout the year to help the student meet the goals. Enter responsible persons or a classroom teacher any others. This might include the GT teacher. Do not enter anything in the progress monitoring comments section. You will enter all progress monitoring in the comments box at the end of the ALP. So skip display co progress monitoring comments on progress monitoring document. Under CDE worksheet, would you like to record structure content and differentiation options using the CDE worksheet? Click yes. Under structure, where will students needs be addressed? Select the settings that will be relevant to the student ALP. Under content options, are level one content options being utilized? Select yes or no. And if yes, select applicable options. Repeat this for levels one or two and three. Under differentiated instruction, select yes or no for is acceleration being utilized. If yes, select the content options that apply to the student. Also for our depth, complexity, and novelty being utilized, click yes or no, and if yes, the options that apply for this student's programming plan. Under our higher order thinking skills being utilized, select yes or no, and click the applicable options underneath. For effective goal information, is this goal an effective goal? Click no, this is an academic goal. If there are additional strength areas, you're going to click add, or in this case, there is already goal two for the area of need math. We are going to skip over this goal just to get to the effective needs section, but you are going to follow the same steps that we've just followed to enter the goal for this academic strength area if your student has more than one.
Now we're down to the effective goal. It says area of need effective, the start date again, and projected achievement date should automatically populate from the academic goals and from the beginning of the ALP. You're going to write your measure, measurable goal here and be certain the goal includes the way it will be measured. Again, you may not use the same goal as last year's ALP. You should already have discussed this with the student family and have it ready to go. You're going to write that in the comment box. This must be a new different goal created for the upcoming year with input from parent, teacher, and student. For affective goals, use of the NAGC affective standards is preferred, and these can be found in the Google Drive. You will have to write in the comment box below your SMART goal the abbreviated standards. Always select no for please use add standards for effective section. Then you are going to write instructional actions and strategies again in the box. Under responsible per personnel, list the responsible parties, which might include the classroom teachers, specialist teachers, school psychologist, social worker, etc. For the progress monitoring section, do not select anything. Do not use this progress monitoring comment section again. You're going to record this at the end of the ALP. For display progress monitoring, you skip that part. Select no for would you like to record structure content. Select yes for is this an effective goal. Then depending on which competence area you've chosen, select yes for the one you've picked and no for the others. You need to choose at least one competence area, but may decide to include more than one. Then you, for the one you've chosen, yes, select the options beneath. Do not click on related standards. Do not click on progress monitoring. Career and post-secondary planning may be used by some schools, but it is not required. Check all that apply in the parent and family partnership. This information should be gathered directly from the family, what they've agreed to participate in for the ALP. Record of parent contact, initial contact with parents should be entered. Additional comments will not be available after the ALP has been finalized. For summary of actions, you may use this to indicate the steps in the review process, but it is not required. Always select yes on would you like to print comments. This is where you will progress monitor after the document has been finalized, which will be required to be entered for all ALP goals twice a year. Save the ALP when finished writing by clicking save. When the goals are completed and the parents have had the opportunity to review and suggest changes, finalize the goal by clicking finalize. When the white box pops up and asks if you want to finalize, click yes. Finalizing must be completed by November 1st.